Could this be I, as I suppose it be? I have a little dog at home, and he'll know me. Come in. I'm sorry, Arthur. Are you busy? Of course I am. I always am. Busier than usual, or just busy? Both. Well, what's the pressing female problem? Just this. Am I to pack or am I not to pack? Are we going to England? Do we take our leave this year or not? I don't know. You don't know? So why don't you just pack and then if we don't go, all you have to do is to unpack. If the men had to do the packing and the unpacking, the world would be a very different place. If I had my way... What? You and I would have long since packed and been miles away from here. You and I. That's a comforting thought. Thank you, darling. Is it all going to go up in flames, Arthur? Not if I can help it. What do you mean? Let me try and put it in a nutshell. If I encourage the policy that the great power should be tough with China, that will bring about a situation where China would become just another battlefield for the great powers to fight over. So I think it's wiser if we accept this temporary humiliation at the hands of the boxers and hope that by damping down the fire, the kettle won't boil over. And then? And then I shall probably receive the displeasure of Her Majesty's government and you and I will be retired upon a most inadequate pension. Do you remember what Napoleon said about China? I never forget it. Let China sleep, for when she wakes, the world will tremble. He did say an awful lot, didn't he? Come in. Major Lewis, Sir Arthur. Oh, ask him to wait one moment. Darling, forgive me, I had to put on my official face for a little while. You haven't forgotten our soiree tonight. Two dozen, dozen bottles of champagne already on the ice. Anything else the sir would require? The first waltz, if you can spare it. Hmm, I'll think about it. 